Imagine this. A deep space telescope operating in the stillness of the cosmos picks up something utterly unexpected, something that not only challenges the laws of physics as we know them, but also shakes the very foundation of our understanding of the universe itself. Then, just as quickly as it appeared, the live feed cuts to black. The footage vanishes. Scientists, once eager to comment, suddenly fall silent. A few days later, an object is spotted hovering above Earth's magnetic equator, stationary, watchful, and calculating. It's given a name, Neo Umuamua. Its intent remains unclear, but one fact is undeniable. It is not a comet. According to data leaked from NASA and verified by several independent observatories, this mysterious object may be part of a much larger system already enveloping us. The James Webb Space Telescope's final transmission before its systems went dark wasn't reassuring. It was a warning. What it revealed confirmed our deepest fear. We were never alone. And now we've been noticed. It all began as a routine sky survey over the Pacific. The James Webb Space Telescope scanned the void, and then something emerged from the darkness. At first glance, it bore a striking resemblance to the original Oumuamua that passed through our solar system in 2017, oddly shaped, fast-moving, tumbling. But this time something was different. This object didn't just pass by, it approached. It slowed down, it changed direction, and then it came to a complete stop. Almost immediately, NASA's live stream went offline. The raw footage was scrubbed. The object was reclassified under the name Neo Umuamua, and its trajectory was labeled classified. But there's something most people were never meant to see. Right before the blackout, the James Webb Space Telescope recorded a burst of structured signals, prime numbers, beamed directly at Earth's magnetosphere. As Carl Sagan once theorized, Prime numbers are the universal language of intelligence. This wasn't a message, it was a targeting sequence. What's more unsettling? We didn't initiate it. This object didn't respond to us. It anticipated, gas following the communications blackout, private observatories in South Africa and Chile reported strange anomalies. Neo Umuamua had shifted speed and direction again without any visible form of propulsion. It stabilized in geosynchronous orbit positioned precisely above Earth's magnetic equator at an altitude where no natural object should exist. Atmospheric. Sensors in Brazil and Ghana detected periodic vertical pressure waves, suggesting that something was entering and leaving the atmosphere. Yet no visual confirmation ever came. Telescopes aimed at its coordinates either drifted or suffered inexplicable lens malfunctions. Thermal imaging then detected localized temperature adjustments suggesting some form of active shielding. According to internal NASA memos, this movement was classified as non-ballistic, a term reserved for flight paths that are not governed by gravity or inertia alone, implying controlled movement. That means the object isn't just here, it's aware, it's observing, and it's adapting all while remaining entirely silent. On April 7th, something even more profound occurred, CERN's Global Magnetometer Array, used to fine-tune the large, Hadron Collider's superconducting magnets recorded a massive magnetic ripple. This was not regional. It wasn't caused by solar activity. It was global. The pulse lasted just under a second, 0.72 seconds, and carried harmonic structures unlike anything ever observed from a terrestrial or natural cosmic source. But what followed chilled scientists to the core. A signal from Voyager 1 was received by NASA's Deep Space Network, time-stamped to match that magnetic pulse precisely. This should have been impossible. Voyager 1 doesn't have the technology to detect or transmit such complex data, yet the signal it sent contained encoded wavelets, nested primes, and frame structures corrected for quantum interference far beyond what Voyager was ever built to handle. The inescapable conclusion Voyager didn't send the signal on its own, it was activated. Someone or something used it. And that activation occurred at the exact moment Neo Umuamua broadcast its prime number sequence, as if on Q, a dormant system within our solar system may have just awakened. Prominent astrophysicist Brian Cox went public with a controversial theory. He suggested that Neo Umuamua isn't a probe, it's a node. 
a silent sentry in a galactic surveillance system, a part of a dormant network left behind to observe civilizations like ours as we hit certain technological milestones. No contact, no attack, just quiet evaluation. This idea is gaining traction among secretive scientific panels and fits with the great filter hypothesis, the notion that advanced civilizations remain hidden behind complex detection systems, revealing themselves only to those who reach specific thresholds, and with the signal detected by CERN and Voyager's inexplicable response, many now believe we've crossed such a threshold. Whether it's a test, a warning, or something else entirely, no one knows. But the message is loud and clear. We didn't discover them. They've always known about us. And now that we've noticed them, everything might change. Behind closed doors, not everyone is aligned. Leaked documents from NASA and the European. Space Agency suggests that this isn't a new discovery. It's a long-known secret. Internal communications show that strange orbital anomalies were detected near Saturn six months before Neo Oumuamua appeared, but these were dismissed as non-priority disturbances. One incident report, codenamed Echo 9, indicates that the James Webb Space Telescope had previously logged irregular thermal signatures approaching from the direction of the Oort cloud, yet no public warning was issued. Why? To avoid panic. Senior ESA official allegedly wrote, the public cannot process what we're seeing. So the data was suppressed, buried, that is, until the object arrived and positioned itself above our heads. Once Neo Oumuamua stopped, hovered and emitted its signals, the silence could no longer be maintained. For three days, the object remained completely still in its orbit. Then, without any visible propulsion or known force, it shifted, precisely, by 0.5 degrees of longitude, a subtle but clearly intentional movement. Atmospheric monitoring satellites recorded a corresponding low-frequency radio pattern, repeating every 13 seconds, mirroring the prime-based signals originally captured by the James Webb Telescope. And ionospheric mapping revealed something even more unnerving. The object's new position aligned directly over one of Earth's most powerful magnetic convergence zones, Scientists now speculate that these zones might serve as natural amplifiers, possibly acting as transceivers. Neo Oumuamua, it seems, may not just be observing us. It may be interacting with Earth's electromagnetic structure, possibly preparing it for something larger. A recently declassified white paper written by a coalition of astrophysicists introduces a groundbreaking theory, the Veil Hypothesis. According to this idea, Highly advanced civilizations deploy passive surveillance objects not to monitor life directly, but to watch for when planetary systems begin to pierce through a deeper layer of reality, a hidden boundary in space-time beyond which physics itself may begin to behave differently. By this theory, Neo Oumuamua isn't here to explore. It's here to confirm, to mark the moment when humanity stepped beyond the veil, whether it's quantum communication gravitational manipulation, or some unknown factor, the combination of synchronized pulses, atmospheric anomalies, and altered gravitational readings suggests a chilling reality. We may have triggered something ancient, something that watches what we do next. Even more unsettling is what's being discussed among engineers and signal analysts. A group studying anomalies in the Voyager transmissions believes Neo Oumuamua may be part of an enormous system that surrounds us, a kind of invisible mesh, a multidimensional lattice of nodes that listen silently until triggered by specific emissions. We never noticed it because we were too quiet, but now with AI in orbit, quantum experiments in play, and gravity wave pulses being fired into the cosmos, we've made enough noise, and something has responded. These experts believe the object above us isn't a probe, it's a mirror. A silent reactive device designed not to send messages but to reflect back what we are. And what happens when that reflection completes? No one knows. But the possibilities are terrifying. For generations, humanity looked to the stars believing. We were the explorers. We built instruments to peer deeper into space, searching for signs of other life. But now, with Neo Oumuamua suspended silently above us, not communicating, not moving, not attacking, 
we are forced to reckon with a sobering truth. We were never the observers. We've always been the observed. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't just detect an object. It captured a presence, a moment of stillness in the cosmos when it felt like the universe itself turned to face us. And in that moment there were no answers, no contact, only a message written in silence. Neo Umwamua didn't arrive by chance. It came with intent. It didn't speak because it didn't need to. It already understands who we are. It knows. Our chaos, our fears, our noise. It didn't come to start a conversation. It came to decide whether a conversation should happen at all. And now, the question that hangs in the minds of scientists, governments, and maybe every one of us is this. What if the silence isn't waiting for us to speak? What if the silence is the response? What if it is our judgment?